All right, so in this chapter, we're going to start adding in meshes. So I'm simply going to select a mesh, and I'll hit the magnifying glass next to it. And that'll take us to our mesh directory, which is located in Dir Content Assets Mesh. So here are all the meshes that we have. Um, we've just got a few in here. Uh, so let's let's try to get something uh, with what we've got. Uh, I think I'm going to move these back. So that these are in line uh, with this. So let's just take that and move that back. So we've got kind of one full space here. It felt a little cramped. Let's go into unlit. And I'll uh, just duplicate a couple, a couple of these walls back. There we go. And uh, let's do the same for the other side. I'll line it up to about there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. The floor was a good indicator for that. OK, yeah, that gives us a bit more space. Uh, we could always or also come in here and let's get the uh, rotation snapping turned off. Okay, so I'm going to check this, uh, uncheck the rotation snapping, and we could kind of rotate those uh, so they're open a bit. Now that's not making a lot of sense. So maybe these rotate inward. OK, that looks a lot better. All right, so I'm just going to kind of start through here and, and look at some of the meshes that I have. So I've got uh, a mirror here. Interesting. Uh, let's put that rotation snap back on so I can snap this mirror. Um, I'm not really sure where I would want to use these mirrors. They're kind of kind of weird. Uh, maybe these corner mirrors. Those are kind of interesting. That might be useful up in this corner. Let's do 180 there. Uh, can't really see those in that location. And I don't really have any other corners like that. Uh, but maybe I could use those mirrors here. possibly have some mirrors there. Okay, uh, next, we've got some pipes. I'm not going to get into the pipes just yet. I want to kind of, let's get some some of these bigger things. So garbage cans. So this is pretty, these are pretty easy, right? We'd have, you know, some garbage cans placed uh, over here, maybe as we're uh, coming in, uh, possibly in here as we're going out. Uh, also, maybe some garbage cans 
uh, in here. And out here. And another one you know, over here. Um, just going to kind of think of the flow of traffic as people are coming, you know, on and off. Uh, where would they have, uh, you know, the op option to uh, discard garbage on their way in uh, and on their way out? Um, so this looks okay. You know, maybe over here, high traffic area, we're going to double up the, the garbage cans. Um, there's nothing real specific on these cans yet. Uh, so I don't really, you know, I don't need to rotate these. But one thing I am noting is that they are looking pretty black. Okay. And if I open up the garbage can here, we're going to see that it's, you know, kind of incredibly reflective. So this is an issue with reflection captures or reflections. So if I type in REF, I have no reflection captures in here. So I need reflection captures. Um, to capture these reflections. So I'm going to grab uh, one of these sphere reflection captures and I'll just drag it in. And you can just see instantly how different the scene looks. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to kind of place it in the center. I uh, could zero it out. And then just kind of drag it here and I'm going to want to place this at kind of eye height or character eye height. Then I'll go in my top view and just kind of, you know, it's encompassing the entirety of my scene. And for right now, that's going to work. I'm going to click the arrow next to build, build reflection captures. And I'm going to hit build reflection captures. And we can see that that built the reflection captures. Now we've got uh, some more accurate better reflections. While I'm here, I'm not liking the color of this green. So I'm going to select uh, this lamp. And here in this M emissive, I'm going to open this and I'm going to simply change the color to something more yellowish. Maybe something like that. or even uh, more white. Let's keep it more white for right now. All right, so we've got some garbage cans and hey, we've got some trash bags. Cool. So, uh, you know, let's say they're overflowed and uh, these we're going to want to rotate around. Uh, because if I place three of these evenly spaced, it's going to look real obvious. Um, but if I rotate these now, all of a sudden they look like three unique uh, trash bags. So I'm also going to take my snap off at this point and you know, let's maybe place three of them bundled up under here. Could even turn off my rotation a bit and rotate some of these. Uh, the problem is, is that they've been created to be flat on the bottom. So if I kind of have it looking like it's rotated there. Um, at least for that one, where we could see the back, it's going to look obvious. This one back here, though, kind of can't see it. Can also scale it down a little bit. I'll take my scale widget off and we can scale some up. 
rotate these guys around. Here's maybe another area for a lot of uh, a lot of garbage. And again, just rotate them, scale them slightly. I want to make sure they're not uh, all the same. I've got this little face here. It's two eyeballs and a frowny. Uh, so let's make sure that we don't see that. The same on each one. Okay. Not bad. Uh, next, we've got some posters. Um, got quite a few posters here. So let's throw some up here. I'll turn my rotation snap back on. Okay, and we'll find some good places for posters. Uh, let's do one in here. Could do another one in here. Another one here. Okay, and you know, maybe we'll have some over there. Uh, let's make these all not perfect. Let's say, heck, we could even throw this one on the floor. It fell over. or even uh, just throw one on the floor completely. Like there was one there, someone knocked it over. We're starting to break up these, uh, starting to break the scene up. Starting to look good. Okay. Uh, I want to start to add some like trims. So I think in the next chapter, I'm gonna go through and just take a look at where two surfaces meet up and make sure that I don't have a just a single 90 degree edge.